bacon double chili cheese jalapeno burger with all kinds of toppings, a.k.a. the heart attack burger. Don't sound too bad. Not the heart attack part, the burger part. Now, if you guys want to see how I'm going to build this, stick around. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. All right, so to get started on this heart attack burger, I'm going to put just a little bit of oil down. Not a lot. I got some meat here. I got a big old meat the ball. One patty. Number two patty. Okay, now, of course, I'm going to use my press. I'm going to smash them down until they're fairly little. Or thin, I should say. They won't be little by any means. About like that. And that's going to be our burger patties. Okay. While that's going, I'm going to cut into some of this homemade put together bacon that I got. I use a couple slabs of that because like I said it's a bacon double. So I'll put a couple of those down. I love homemade bacon. Don't get much better than that. Slab there. Pretty thick cut. We'll just do two of them. And of course for some seasoning on our burger, I'm going to use some Blaze and Burger from Weber. It's got a little kick to it. It's going to be a, a burger with a bite. Some jalapeno, some spicy seasoning. Should be pretty good. Okay, now while that's cooking, I'm going to throw some mushrooms over here in the corner. I like a little bit of mushrooms on my burger. Like I said, with all kinds of toppings. So, let's put on some toppings. Take this jalapeno, I'm going to slice it up. I think that'll be plenty of heat. And then I'm going to apply the jalapeno with the mushrooms. I'm not going to cook them all the way through. Just a little bit of crisp on them. I'm going to mix them up a little bit to get them going. While we're letting that cook, I'm going to make our sauce. Alright, and our sauce is going to consist of some Hellman's olive oil mayo dressing. Just going to do a scoop of that. Maybe a little bit more. Like that. And then going to mix it with some of the wonderful sriracha. About like so. And mix it up. Should have a little bite to it. Sriracha is good stuff. Kind of like a thousand islands what it looks like. Maybe add a little salt to it. Maybe a dash of pepper. Not like so. Mix all up. Good taste. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, give your burger a flip. Got a good crust, I like that. Give your veggies a little flip. Like I said, I don't want to saute the jalapeno, I just want them a little crispy. If I can get them that way. I put my weight on my meat, on my burger. Make it cook a little bit more even. And give the bacon a flip. Alright, take another look at the burger. Give her another flip. Both sides. 
put the weight down. Give these guys a little turn. Just about how I like it, right there. Pretty amazing. Give the bacon, bacon one more turn. That is some thick cut homemade bacon right there. Okay. And then I think I'm fair to do one more flip. About like so. Just for a couple more minutes. To get them good and charred. Alright, and I have an onion burger bun, which has got the onions cooked inside the burger. These are amazing. I'm going to get them on there to get them a little crispy, a little toasty. Alright, I think we can say we're about ready to build this sandwich. Looks good, looks good. The bun is toasted just slightly, which is just how I like it. Put that there. Of course, to get started, I'm going to put one slice of cheese on there. And then I'm going to put this one on top of this one. And then I want to add my mushrooms and jalapenos. A lot of jalapenos. Holy crap. Like that. And then also, I'll use my tongs for the bacon. That way. One this way. And then a slab of cheese on top. Like that. And we'll let it melt just for a minute. Actually, what I will do to make it melt, throw some water down, get some steam action. Okay, so let's put this bad boy together. Got some Hormel chili, yeah, I cheated, it's microwavable. It's okay, it's not homemade. Start off with some of my sauce that I made. Sriracha mayo. Maybe a little on top as well. Like so. And then I want to put a little bit of Okay, now for the burger. See if we can do this without knocking it everywhere. Holy crap. That is like a tower. Now, on top of that, it's going to be messy, but that's all right. Messy is my middle name. A little bit of chile. Gonna run right down the side. It's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to eat this one, folks. I don't care. And then, last but not least, some French fried onions for the top. Oh, well, that looks sexy. Yeah. And to put the lid on, boom. All right, folks, tell me that don't look like a heart attack. Yeah, it does. All right, give me a minute and I'll cut it in half. All right, one more look at this bad boy before I try to cut it in half. This could be a chore, but let's give it a shot, see if we can even make it happen. 
right down the middle. Oh yeah, that looks good. I like the look of that. Oh yeah, I'm not complaining. Well, there we have it, folks. The double bacon, cheese, chili, jalapeno burger. Or, you just make it easy, say the heart attack burger. It looks amazing. Even the back of it looks good. <laughs> so, let's quit looking and let's have a bite of this bad boy. See what she tastes like. She's got a bite. <coughs> got some jalapeno, sriracha, mayo, and Mocha don't want a bite of this. That'll burn your butt. Tell you what, it's good. I like it. I like a kick. It's got everything I need for a good bite. Tell me what you think of this bad boy. Would you do this at home? I'm sure I'll do it again sooner or later. So leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. By all means, subscribe. Hit that notification so you know what I'm coming up with some more. And by all means, give me a thumbs up. But I'll tell you what, this thing is screaming my name. It's got fire in its rear. <coughs> I'm Jimmy Eats, everybody, and that being said, that's just what I'm going to do, everybody. I'm going to eat. Thanks. Have a great night.